Hey guys, it is Cyborg Noodle here, and I'm back with another uh, live gameplay commentary. And today I'm playing as the demo with the loose cannon, the Ulful Caber, and just something to block me from using the sticky bomb launcher, which in this case is the charge and charge. So I'm just playing a little bit of King of the Hill, and I was wondering what weapon would really work well on King of the Hill, and uh came down to, I want to knock people all over the place. So, yeah, loose cannon demo seems seem to have been the right choice, except for spies. I, there's not much I could do about them, and you are obviously a spy. By the way, just a little backstory, I used to use the loose cannon all the time, I don't use it as much anymore. So... I think this is my first time using it in a while. I didn't really give myself any time to warm up. And you are a spy. Just knocking spies all over the place. Okay. It's so hard to spy check with this thing, because, like, the best you can do is knock spies places. And, uh... I don't think that's exactly what I'm looking for. Wow, we are just dominating. Yeah, but anyways, the loose cannon, what I'm kind of going for, which I haven't done in a while, is a double donk, which, if you don't know, if you haven't been keeping up with TF2 in the past for frickin' ever, considering the fact it's been in the game for a while, it's pretty much, it, it was close to that, where you hit them with the loose cannon, it knocks them back, and then it explodes and does damage to them and you'll hear a little audio cue and possibly a visual cue. That time it didn't give it to me on the medic because of the fact that the uh, explosion and the knockback damage have to be within a certain time period of each other. So that's kind of irritating, but... You know, it's fun to go for double donks. They, they don't really do anything, they just kind of are for show. But... Whatever. I mean, they're pretty. Like, I tried to get one on that demo, but you need to time it right and not get exploded by sticky bombs and not kill yourself with the loose cannon. AKA, everything I'm bad at, you have to do. So that's uh, kind of an issue. So I see there's some people on the point. Let's try and knock them off if I can aim properly. Nope, 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 Heavy took care of it. Alright, let's do a little bit of ye old spawn camp. See Double Donk just there, there was a little purple, uh, purple icon. And, um, it also made the sound, which, I don't know how to describe the sound, but, you know, you can go back in the video slightly and hear it. It's kind of, kind of cool. So I'm just going to try and get a uh, Ulapool kill up. Oh. Alright, another weapon I don't use often is the Ulapool. So, yeah. Kind of jumped with the Ulapool, which... That's pretty cool, I guess, but... it To me, normally it's a useless weapon. Completely useless. You get one kill out of it. And you're done. That's why I think they shouldn't have even made a uh, kill streak Ulapool. So I'm trying to jump, which is not the most effective strategy, and should really be protecting my medic against this pyro that nobody's trying to kill. And I can't seem to hit. So that's, you know, that's always a great combination. Nobody else is trying to kill it, and you're super inaccurate. So, um... Yeah, if you still don't know about the loose cannon and all of the great things it can do, it you know you can pretty much pick when the when the bits of it explode. It's just not as rapid fire as the uh, regular grenade launcher. Like, just 
you can see the little icon in the middle of the screen that shows when it's going to explode. It just goes down until it explodes. And it can explode in your hands if you're not careful. Um, I'll show you how to use that to your advantage. I think I was trying to show you earlier. So uh, what you can do is you can uh, jump like that. Kind of like a rocket jump, kind of like a sticky jump. Except it does tons of damage if you don't remember how much health I had before. How am I not on... Oh, right, it's the charge and charge. That helps me not be on fire. But, besides the point, it's pretty much a super fancy way to, uh... kind of jump yourself, kind of like you can do with the Ula Pool, which... is like that. And I'm probably gonna die it now. Uh, I should have let that medic get the charge off on me. But, nah. I am in a hurry. Cyborg Noodle does not have time for Yoshi yet. Okay, I am dying. Medic, if I could please have your attention. That would be, uh, be nice, thank you. Sorry guys, I was just having a little tiny bit of issues just a second ago. But I am back now. So, um... Yeah, it's the loose cannon. It's a beautiful weapon. And the Ulupul, mm, not so much. So I'm gonna see if I can get a few kills with the Ulupul. Which... Not good as Demo Knight. Not good with things that kill you, like, immediately, so... You're gonna watch me die a lot. <coughs> Although, if you do like watching me die a lot, I do have a video on me trying to get a kill with just the Fan of War, which is, in my opinion, one of the stupidest things I've done. Like, I don't mean just on this channel, I mean just, in general, one of the stupidest things I've ever done. Ah, oh, I totally could have got that kill. Stupid scout. Uh, alright, control point it is. Yeah, but I'm not the greatest as a demo, or really any of the classes in Team Fortress. It's just really me trying... <laughs> just trying to get some kills, trying to have fun, trying not to get killed by a friggin' sniper. So, yeah, that's always, uh, an interesting thing. Wow. <sighs> okay, I got pretty much launched in the air, and, uh, died. Fantastic. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm not gonna try that. Never mind. If I can't get on the first two swings, and it almost kills me anyways, I don't really see the point in trying it. Oh, damn. I, like, walked right in front of him. He probably wasn't even aiming for me. Maybe he was. Gotta cap that point. Oh, yes. Nope, nope, it's not gonna happen. On my last will, I will use the Zula Wool. No! I didn't freaking detonate the thing. I didn't do the thing with the junk and stuff. Nose. And that is how Noodle is super descriptive. So... Oh, that's my new strategy. Just fly through the air with the loose cannon. Pool, pool, caber. Somebody, once I get to said destination... I keep thinking it's like rocket jumping, so I just like click it and hold it, and I jump at the same time whilst crouching. But I there is a delay because it has to go and explode in your hand and such, so that's an issue. 
Wonderful. He didn't, he just, he was just trying to walk down the hallways and I, I probably just ruined his day. Well, I guess that's about it. I'll catch you guys later.